Hi friends, welcome to Biology Tutor. Today we are going to discuss a new topic of dairy technology. Milk. What is milk? Definition of milk. It is defined as the lacteal secretion from the mammary glands of mammals obtained by complete milking of one or more healthy animals. Practically free from colostrum that you should remember that particular point free from colostrum that is the definition of milk daring in india india ranks first in annual milk production operation flood means white revolution operation flood launched to increase the production of milk it is also known as white revolution the world's largest dairy development program that was operation flood it is based on the amul model or anand pattern launched on 13th of january 1970 by nddb what is the full form of nddb national dairy development board dr vargis kudian he is the father of white revolution who is the father of white revolution or operation flood dr vargis kudian operation flood was implemented in three phases the first phase is from 1970 to 1980 the second phase is from 1981 to 1985 and the third phase from 1986 to 1996 Next NDDB was found on 16th July 1965 which is very important headquarters of NDDB is situated at Anand Gujarat Dr Vargis Kudian he is also known as milkman of India he was the first chairman chairman of NDDB also the founder of amul who is the founder of amul dr vargis kurian who is known as the milkman of india dr vargis kurian who is known as the father of milk revolution or white revolution dr vargis kurian the amul model of dairy development is a three tiered structure anand it is a milk capital of india which is a milk capital of india anand milk bowl of india milk bowl of india gujarat is known as the milk bowl of india milk pail of india which state is known as milk pail of india it is haryana haryana known as milk pail of india national milk day is observed on 26 november 26 november is national milk day and world milk day is observed on 1st june gross composition of milk 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 solids water content of 87.4% milk solids 12.6% next fat 3.7 milk solids not fat 8.9% up to casein 2.8% whey protein of 0.6% composition of milk major constituents are water 86 to 88 percentage of water 3 to 6 percentage of fat 3 to 4 percentage of protein 4 to 5 percentage of carbohydrate and minerals of 0.7 percentage minor constituents includes phospholipids vitamins pigments enzymes etc total solids in milk in between 11 and 14 percentage It's divided into milk fat and solids non fat that is snf milk fat and snf next is protein complete protein of high quality is there in milk it contains all nine essential amino acids required by humans two major classes are there casein proteins of 80 percentage whey serum protein of 20 percentage casein protein contains alpha and beta caseins whey serum proteins beta alpha blood serum albumin immunoglobulin lactoferrin transferrin fat it exists as minute fat globules of 1 to 20 micrometer in diameter made up of triglycerides of 98 percentage 
phospholipids 0.221% steroids of 0.22.4% milk fat contains approximately 65% saturated and 30% mono unsaturated and 5% polyunsaturated fatty acids milk fat also contains pigments like carotene which gives a yellow color to milk cream butter ghee and other fat rich dairy products it also consists of waxes contains fat soluble vitamins a d e and k it also contains essential fatty acids like linoleic linoleic and arachidonic acids carbohydrate carbohydrates are sugar substances made up of molecules called saccharides major carbohydrate is in milk is lactose Lactose is a disaccharide comprising of glucose and galactose. Linked by beta-1,4 glycosidic linkage, trace amounts of monosaccharides and oligosaccharides are also there. Lactose intolerance deficiency of enzyme lactase results in abdominal upset and diarrhea. That is known as lactose intolerance. Maillard reaction. The browning reaction occurs at high temperature between the lactose and free amino groups or amino group of protein in milk. It produces undesirable flavor and color that, uh, that is known as Maillard reaction. We had already discussed these three times in previous videos. Lactose is the major food source of bacteria during the fermentation of milk. Vitamins. Milk contains the fat soluble vitamins A, D, E, K in association with the fat fraction. Water soluble vitamins B complex and C in association with the water phase. Low fat and skim milk products are fortified with vitamin A and vitamin D. We had discussed in previous video about this fortification. Minerals. Milk is a good source of calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, selenium and zinc. It also contains only small amounts of copper, iron, manganese and sodium. Milk salts are phosphates, chlorides, etcetrates of sodium, potassium, calcium and magnesium. Enzymes. What are the enzymes present in milk? Alkaline phosphatase. It is a heat sensitive enzyme in milk that is used as indicator of pasteurization which enzyme is the indicator of pasteurization alkaline phosphatase if milk is properly pasteurized alkaline phosphatase is inactivated and lactoperoxidase peroxidase transfers oxygen from hydrogen peroxide to other readily oxidizable substances. This enzyme is inactivated if the milk is heated up to 80 degrees Celsius for few seconds. The presence or absence of peroxidase in milk is used to check whether or not a pasteurization temperature above 80 degrees Celsius has been reached. This test is called Stokes peroxidase test. Oxidoreductase, xanthine oxidase, sulfhydryl oxidase and superoxide dismutase are also there. Catalase, it splits hydrogen peroxide into water and free oxygen. That is the function of catalase. Milk from diseased udders has a high catalase content. Fresh milk from a healthy order contains insignificant amount. It is destroyed by ordinary high temperature short time pasteurization. Lipase is split fats into glycerol and free fatty acids. It causes lipolysis which results in rancid flavors. It is inactivated by HTST pasteurization. Plasmin, what is plasmin? It is a proteolytic enzyme. It splits proteins. That's the function. It splits proteins. Plasmin attacks both beta casein and alpha S2 casein. 
it is very heat stable and responsible for the development of bitterness in pasteurized milk and ultra heat ultra high temperature processed milk nutritive value of milk milk is a good source of high quality protein calcium phosphorus apart from riboflavin and other b vitamins the calcium and phosphorus of milk are well utilized utilized by the body milk protein has a biological value of 90 percentage lysine is one of the essential amino acids which is abundant in milk proteins it contains important fatty acids like linoleic acids of 2.1 percentage linolenic acid of 0.5 percentage and anacdonic acid of 0.14 percentage riboflavin is present in a higher concentration than the other b vitamins milk is a poor source of vitamin c niacin and iron it is an important point standards for indian market milk cow milk minimum milk fat of 3.2 percent it should be there as an of 8.3 just read this table it is very important physical chemical properties of milk it's a white opaque fluid in which fat is present as an emulsion protein and some mineral matters in colloidal suspension lactose together with some minerals and soluble proteins in true solution the color of the milk milk appears turbid and opaque owing to light scattering by fat globules and casein micellis beta carotene the carotenoid precursor of vitamin a which is responsible for the characteristic yellow color of cow milk buffalo milk is white in color due to the absence of carotene greenish tinge in whey is due to the presence of riboflavin each and every sentence is very very important you should learn this for your exam flavor sweet taste of lactose is balanced against the salty taste of chlorides ph ph of normal fresh milk is between 6.6 to 6.8 density 1.028 and 1.034 gram per ml slightly denser than water freezing point the range of value is minus 0.5252 to minus 0.565 degree celsius boiling point milk boils at 100.17 degree celsius or 212.3 degree fahrenheit milk microbiology we are going to discuss about milk microbiology milk is a sterile in the udder infection of the milk by microorganisms can take place during milking handling storage and other pre-processing activities the bacteria can bring in beneficial effects or spoilage to milk beneficial bacteria are lactic acid bacteria and these are called probiotics they are normally present in the milk and are also used as starter cultures in the production of cultured dairy products such as yogurt some examples in milk are streptococcus lactis streptococcus cremoris streptococcus thermophilus lactobacillus cassis lactobacillus lactis lactobacillus bulgaricus leukonostoc mesenteroids lactococcus lactis next spoiling of microorganisms in milk milk is an excellent medium for the growth of microbes particularly when temperature ranges between 20 to 40 degrees celsius the microorganisms that are principally involved in spoiling are psychotrophic organisms next the color changes due to the spoilage yellow milk is due to the presence of pseudomonas zinc sand red milk due to the presence of serratia marcescens brown milk is due to the presence of pseudomonas putrefaciens blue milk pseudomonas cinsaini 
soaring of milk due to the presence of lactobacillus species and streptococcus species sweet curdling of milk due to the presence of bacillus species proteus species micrococcus species etc gas production due to the presence of clostridium bacillus and coliforms ropinus due to the presence of alkaligens klebsiella and enterobacter species proteolysis due to the presence of pseudomonas species and bacillus species multi and caramel tain due to the presence of streptococcus lactis fishy flower due to pseudomonas species Lipolysis, Pseudomonas fluorescens, Acromobacter, <coughs> Lipolyticum, Yeast, Candida, Lipolytica, Molds, Penicillium species, Geotrichum, Candidum. Dairy mold, Asphodel species, Penicillium, Geotrichums are there. Gerot is caused by Clostridium species. Major milk bond pathogens, Campylobacter, Jejuni, E. coli, Yersidia, Enterocolitica, Disease Gastroenteritis, Coxilla Bernetti, Cos. Q fever, Brucella species, Brucellosis, Listeria monocytogens cause Listeriosis, Mycobacterium bovis or tuberculosis cause tuberculosis, Mycobacterium paratuberculosis, John's disease in ruminants, Salmonella species, Gastroenteritis, Typhoid fever, Corinibacterium diphtheria, diphtheria, Milk hygiene, to get high quality milk, certain hygienic practices have to be practiced. Sources of microbial contamination of milk, internal sources and external sources are there. Internal sources, outdoor infection or mastitis for milk contains large number of bacteria. Cow or animal's body, outdoor and teats. External sources, cow and animal's body, outdoor and teats, milk storage utensils, milking utensils, hygiene habits of milker, method of milking, feed and water, milking environment. These are very very important measures taken for clean milk animal management at farm level animal health feeding and housing hygienic milking practices should follow cleanliness of milking equipment and cooling should be there animal management at farm level animals with good health should be used long hair around flanks under and teeth should be regularly clipped Outdoor and teeth should be definitely washed gently with antiseptic solution prior to milking. Disinfectants like hypochlorite, quaternary ammonia compounds should be used. Keeping the shed clean, washed regularly and dry as far as possible. Good quality straw and supply of adequate minerals and vitamins should be used. Feeding should be made one hour before milking. During milking, non dusty concentrate can be provided to keep animals busy. Avoid feeding silage and hair during milking. Hygienic milking practices, personal hygiene should be there. Milking management, gentle, fast and complete milking should be done. Milking should be completed within 6 to 8 minutes before milk is discarded. Clean the udder and teats with warm water and wipe with clean cloth or towel. After milking, teeth should be dipped in antiseptic solution to minimize risk of infection. Machine milking is superior to hand milking. Milk should be strained using a clean cloth or a strainer. The cloth should be washed and dried daily. Cleanliness of milking equipment and utensils. Utensils should be free from dents, cracks and crevices. Equipments or instruments for direct contact with milk are made of stainless steel 304 and 316. Milk vessels should be cleaned before and after each milking, rendering bacteria free. The chemical sanitizers used are hypochlorites, organic chlorine containing chemicals, quaternary ammonic compounds, and iodine compounds. Cooling of milk. The strained milk should be chilled immediately to 4 degrees Celsius to prevent the proliferation of organisms. Delivery of milk to the factory or consumer should be as frequent as possible. Thank you. If you like this channel, please share and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell button for notifications.